are two types of people in the world. The people who naturally excel at life. Golden boy. What's up? And the people who hope all those people die in a big explosion. When I was 13, it was clear which side of the equation I was on. Are you even up there? She walked in my office <laughs> and, um, and talked about a script that was at a certain stage. And then as she left, she turned around and she said, nobody will ever work harder than I do. And so it began. I've always been interested in um, like periods in life when when your like your comforts or emotional crutches fall away, and you and you have to kind of take a, a a look at yourself. So that's sort of where it started. You know, I grew up on on um, John Hughes movies that just captured this age with just a ferocious honesty. I just really wanted to do that for this for this age. And when I read this, I remember feeling like not only is this special, but this feels like me and my life and my world. And um, just in, in introducing those films to my friends over the last couple of years, having this sort of story be that for my friends and my generation um, is so kind of really important. And to be a part of that is, is pretty awesome. I feel like that age is a lot about asking, does, does anybody else feel this way? You know, I think it's really easy to feel that way and to feel alone because you have all of these you know, uh, you have all these emotions that you don't quite know, know what to do with, and, and everybody, I think we all walk around hiding them really well. That was something that was also important to explore in this for me. All the ways in which I think we, we romanticize other people's lives in order to f and, and end up feeling worse about our own, you know? And I think that's so, at this age, that's so prevalent, and especially now, I think, with social media, where all you gotta do is get online and there are a million beautiful, perfect, filtered pictures of everyone having more fun than you are, you know? Right. This isn't so bad. I just want to be with you. I want you to put your mouth on my tits. I want to feel you inside. Mm. God. Yeah, I refuse to check in on any of the Simpson fan sites because I refuse <laughs> to have a troubled 14-year-old ruin my day. I just won't <laughs> let it happen. I made very few movies that were geared towards my demographic, so I don't, I never really felt like I had too much interaction on there until more recently. It's a, it's a tool that can be used for, for great things, but like Kelly said, it's, it's so easy to go on and see so many things that make you feel like you're, <laughs> you know, and I mean, social media, you can find anything, so. Nick, I like you. I want you to put your mouth on my tits. We can do it in the Petland stock room. I can't send this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, no. Oh, no.